What's going on YouTube, and welcome to part one of the Tamiya 148 scale chance Vought F4U 1 slash 2 Birdcage Corsair. Uh, this kit was purchased secondhand off of eBay and comes with a whole lot of extras that uh, uh, might be using. I'm basically going to build it uh, with the added on parts and then uh, determine which one I like better if I like being like uh, specifically with the cockpit things like that i will use the original uh it does come with an aftermarket decal set as well so let's get in and i'll just do a quick kind of overview of this so the kit number for this build is 61046 We've got our main tamia instructions with the original decals so going in the cockpit together getting there we go. Getting the engine built up, uh, gear bays put together. This does have the option to do the wing fold, which on this one I think I'm going to actually just build it wings out. I have a, a 30 second scale of the bird cage, um, which is a whole lot more detailed, and that's the one I'm probably going to go ahead and do with the folded gear, or folded wings, I should say. Then we have the gear. So getting that all put together. And then the outer part of the wings here, the wing ends, the flaps, and then either bomb or drop tanks. Moving on to the next, some additional flaps. And then radio antenna mounting up the actual wing parts if you're doing it either folded or extended. Like I said, I'm most likely just gonna build this up extended. And then decal placement for the original. This one, like I said, came with some extras, which was great. I got the True Details fast frames, so I don't have to worry about masking up the frames. So that'll be nice and easy. Also came with the KMC Birdcage cockpit set. So nice resin cockpit set. Also have the Eagle Cows Birdcage Corsair from Eagle. Uh, the one I'm going to go ahead and build is going to be the Spirit of 76. So you can see on the back here, really nice looking decals. It did come as well with a vac form canopy. To be honest, I personally am just not a fan of vac forms. Uh, I've tried using them before. I know that they're a lot more to scale, but I just don't like them. So then we get into the actual kit. And some parts have fallen off. So, uh, but we have the cowl, single piece cowl. Have first sprue here, which has the main fuselage, horizontal stabilizers there, some ailerons, some internal parts for the cockpit. Of course, the three-bladed three prop, which is indicative of the early Corsairs. And then have the multi-part wing system. So you have the gear bays, you have the outer wings, you have all the gear doors, gear parts. Uh, these two pieces here are mirrored over here. Um, they are not missing from the kit, or I should say, they're actually mirrors of these two, I apologize. Uh, they're not missing, they are just staying in the box, uh, just from getting kicked around on the shelf for a while, dislodged a couple of parts. And we have the upper wings. See, not a whole lot of wing detail, which again is fairly normal, but what is there is really nice looking. And then for the parts for the cockpit, Additional cockpit, the figure, the bomb and drop tank, and then the bracing for the drop tanks as well. And last but not least, a nice clear sprue. So, like I said, this is just going to be more of an overview of the kit itself. Um, and so, should be coming back actually 
when you get this, you should also get part two, which is actually going to be the start of the build. Actually, I should say that'll be part one. I'll just go ahead and label this as an introduction. So hope you guys are looking forward to this as much as I am. I've uh, just been missing at the bench, miss being at the bench and ready to get started. So catch you guys here in a little bit.